I got my strawberry bare roots this week. I got 25 sequoia strawberries and 25 sweet charlie strawberries. And I was not ready to plant them right when I got them, so I've been storing them in my refrigerator for the past uh, few days. And it's uh, recommended to store them in the refrigerator up to three weeks. Um, but three weeks seems like a pretty long time to me, so I try to get them planted as fast as I can after I receive them. Um, I prefer to get them planted within a week if possible, but you can uh, store them a little longer in the fridge if you have to. So the first thing I'm going to do is soak them in some water. And this water has some of this liquid seaweed added to it just to give a little extra nutrients. Um, but you can use plain water for that as well. Okay, so I have my bare roots soaking in water with some seaweed mixed in it. And I'm just going to let them soak for about 20 minutes to rehydrate the roots uh, before I plant. So I'm going to go ahead and finish filling the bags that I'm planting these into with potting mix while I soak these. Okay, so now that I've soaked my roots and gotten them rehydrated a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and plant into these two gallon uh, fabric grow bags and uh, I'm doing this because I don't have enough room in my raised beds to plant uh, all the strawberry roots that I have so I just bought a whole bunch of these little fabric grow bags. I've planted the, into these in the past and they worked out well so um, I've filled them with a loose potting mix and I'm going to add my fertilizer. This berry tone um, organic fertilizer um, from Espoma and I'll put a link to it in the description. So for a two gallon bag I'm using uh, three quarters of a cup. This is a quarter cup so I'm doing it three times. So I'm just going to mix the fertilizer into the top few inches of the soil and this is a loose um, light peat based potting mix that I'm planting into and I'm just making a for the strawberry roots. Alright, so um, a lot of times if I find pieces that are kind of hanging off or if there are rotten leaves, I'll cut it off. So I'm just leaving the healthy part. I don't think you really have to do that, but I, if anything's rotten or dying, I try to get it off. And then I'm going to pull the roots apart. A little bit and try to spread them out and I'm going to cover the roots but I'm going to be very careful not to cover the crown. This part right here is the crown of the strawberry roots. These are the roots and this here is the crown. So one of the most important things when planting strawberries is to make sure that you don't cover the crown. You want to bury it just up to right there, right where the roots are covered, but the crown is not covered with soil. If you bury the crown under the soil, it can rot. So I've covered the roots all the way up to here, and then here's the crown. So I'm just evening out the outer edges, make sure the roots are covered good. I'm just going to smooth out the soil around the pot 
and just double check to make sure the crown is not covered at all with the soil. There, and that one is planted. Here are a few tips for growing strawberries. Spread the roots out when planting strawberries. It helps to make a little mound of soil in the middle of the hole and set the strawberry crown on top of the mound with the roots fanned out around the sides of the mound. And try to keep the roots pointing straight down. It's important to plant strawberries in soil that has good drainage. And also be aware that strawberry plants like soil that is slightly acidic, so you would not want to add anything alkalizing to your potting mix. For example, I add dolomite to a lot of my potted vegetable plants, but I would not add it to my berry plants because it's alkalizing. For strawberries, use a balanced fertilizer which has the same NPK amounts or similar NPK amounts. So the numbers on the fertilizer bag would be something like 555 or 101010. Usually organic fertilizers have lower NPK numbers than synthetic fertilizers. The fertilizer I mainly use for berry plants has an NPK of 434. So the numbers are not identical, but they're close, and it's still a pretty balanced fertilizer. I've also used a variety of other organic fertilizers for my strawberry plants, and they've all worked very well. Sometimes I'll even mix two different fertilizers together, depending on what I have on hand. The goal is just always to keep it balanced. Plant your strawberries in a location that gets full sun for at least eight hours a day. Also, try to maintain a consistent watering schedule. And note that grow bags can dry out quickly, but that's one of the reasons I like them for strawberries. One year when I had my strawberries planted in raised beds, we got several days of nonstop rain and the raised bed did not dry out fast enough and all of my strawberry plants died from too much moisture. So overwatering is probably worse than underwatering and you wanna let your soil begin to dry out before watering again so your plants don't get waterlogged and possibly start rotting. This is also why it's important to use soil that has good drainage. I've put links in the description below the video to the grow bags and fertilizers that I've used for my strawberries. So check the video description if you're looking for product suggestions. Good luck with your strawberry plantings. Happy gardening!